Alrighty guys, here is Batman from this toy line. You may remember him. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a character you might be familiar with. You never know. Uh, as you can see, he's really, really in a uh, Batman 89 deco here. I mean, uh, definitely. Uh, there's even sort of, it's really hard to uh, tell if this is going to pick up on camera or not, but there is this kind of speckled uh, treatment on the paint. It's not really glittery, and it really gives the impression of like the 89 uh, rubbery like leather suit. It's pretty neat. I, I don't know if that was the intention or not. Um, I honestly think the intention for this paint job was to make it a tie-in for uh, Lego Batman 2, uh, where he wears this outfit with Superman. I think that's why he's in all black here. That's myself, but uh, who knows. As you can see, uh, all the parts are the same as previous Batmans released. Um, here we go. And you can see the exact same chest mold. They stand about the exact same height. Uh, just all the same stuff, so nothing new to say there, if you guys know already. The, there's a cut here at the shoulder, there's a hinge at the elbow, there's a cut at the waist, there's two cuts down here at the pelvis, and the head turns left and right and can slightly go up and down but doesn't really lock. Okay, so the big difference that is on this figure compared to the previous releases is the cape. Now, uh, some of you all who may have bought previous packs like these uh, for Brave and the Bold probably already know what we're talking about. There's sort of this uh, thin, really, really thin vinyl. Uh, it may be thinner than previous issues, as a matter of fact, so if it's you, more papery. If you ever purchased a Dracula cape at the dollar store, it's that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's definitely this kind of stuff. And I mean, the great thing about it is it's not super shiny, as you can see, so it doesn't have that garbage bag look. As a matter of fact, it looks awesome, uh, just like on display or from behind, because the fidelity, the kind of quality between the plastic and the cape isn't lost. Yeah, it seems very seamless. I mean, uh, because here where it goes into uh, from the plastic to the cloth, and it's sort of distracting on the figure, even though it's uh, a lot nicer than the vinyl. Uh, the one good thing is that there's some visual merit here. Other than that, though... Uh, I, a kid would tear that right off. Yeah. Uh, that, if I had had that when I was six or seven years old, it would have lasted a couple days, you know? Yeah, definitely. And the unfortunate thing about it is that Batman in particular, in the set, the cape is scrunched up in the back in a certain way, where he's affixed to the package. And uh, when you get it out, the cape is pretty messed up, really. I had to take a blow dryer and uh, sort of uh, warm up this part so that the wrinkles would fall out a little bit. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of an indention, but uh, that's going to be a problem with a lot of the figures. Uh, just remember, um, just remember, just use a blow dryer and it should fall right out, but you really shouldn't have to do that to a figure you get out of the package, so that's unfortunate. Uh, don't hold the blow dryer on there too long because this stuff would actually probably melt yeah. uh, really, really easily. Or it would distort to the point that yeah. you couldn't fix it back. Exactly, so please just be very careful about that. Just enough to get the wrinkle out. Uh, and sure enough, any shape you want to take with this cape uh, is completely possible just by holding it that way and using the blow dryer and letting it cool pretty quick. And it'll instantly uh, take whatever shape you would like it to. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I really like the figure. Uh, unfortunately, as you try to like grab it, you can hear that kind of rattle of the vinyl. That's the kind of stiffness we're talking about. And it makes it sort of unpleasant just to sort of grab. So you're always finding yourself having to let the cape go down, drop down, and grab it this way. Uh, sort of unfortunate, you know, it does detract a little bit from the quality of the figure, but at the price point we're getting these for, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's excusable, definitely. So, uh, definitely a fine little Batman figure. One of the best looking ones, just one that you won't really be able to store uh, as safely as the others, because this cape will absolutely crease like paper, yeah. I imagine, if you fold it. If, for instance, you're keeping these in a box all together, put that one at the top, and don't yeah. put the cape up, you know, keep it definitely. away from everything else or it will get destroyed. Batman includes one accessory, a capture net, which is actually, I mean, you can see it's its a really big piece, uh, kind of makes up for how uh, cheap the cape is. It's a really good uh, knit mesh net, uh, and at each corner, there's one of these uh, bat symbol uh, weights, and on the back of them are these plugs, and you take from one end to the other, and they can actually snap together, so it creates an encompassing net. Uh, you can't really get Killer Croc inside of this thing, but you could uh, stick, say, Two-Face or uh, uh, the Joker in here. It's a really neat uh, accessory. Uh, you know, you can wrap it around, uh, say, Croc won't go in there completely, but well, here's the old Croc. You can wrap it around the top, or so you get it around his arm. 
and uh, just just a lot of different things you can do with it. It's a uh, uh, good imaginative accessory, or you can drop it down, and the weights will cause it to wrap around whatever it hits. The other good thing about the weights is that uh, uh, the pegs to plug into each other are also the exact right size to be held by the hands of the action figures. So Batman can hold the net and throw it over your villains. And what a team up it was. One would almost say it was a battle in a box. I would I would go so far as to say that. Mm -hmm. That is something that could be said. Uh, Batman and Superman, best of friends, mm -hmm. apparently. Killer Croc uh, did not fare very well. No. I mean, look, I want to point out something here. It, I don't think Batman would need help uh, trying to take down Killer Croc. Definitely not help from Superman. One or the other of them could do, especially if Superman were on his own, it would be no challenge. So I don't quite understand the logic behind And if, if you read the back of the box, it implies that Superman, yeah. for some reason, is fighting Killer Croc on his own. We have is the, it? box over Yeah, we've got the box right here. And as you can see, kids, just pause it and read, read it for yourself for a minute there. This hilarious story... Uh, it insinuates that Killer I, Croc is a... I don't think so. He's like a monumental villain or yeah. something like that. And I mean, uh, who knows, with robot parts, maybe he is a challenge. Maybe he's as strong man. as uh, Metallo now. I don't, know. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, either way, uh, for dubious reasons, these two had to team up. Maybe just to hang out, I'm that's suspecting, it. and they wanted a reason. Just to have fun. And uh, that's basically what this set is. If it mm -hmm. can be summed up, uh, if you want a good reason to have fun and to hang out... Uh, this is it. Buy this set, and I guarantee you'll have some fun with your other adult collector buddies. Or, you know, perhaps uh, for children, as intended, even. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say? I, I don't know. It, uh, we enjoyed it so much, I'd wager to say that children would like it, too. You know, Look, I'm, I'm just guessing. Even with garbage bag capes. That's a pretty fun mm -hmm. set. I'd definitely give it, uh, I'd say, four out of five. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, so. Definitely well, you four know, out of five. Especially considering the value. You know, like mm -hmm. I said, um, just two basic figures is going to run you. Ten dollars piece. That's the cost of the set. Right. So Batman and Superman. Croc is uh, in the scale, and uh, his action feature is the style of the deluxe figures, which are right. uh, about fourteen dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. So that's like a free fourteen dollar value. I mean, you know, buying the set. It's really pretty good. And to get three, you know, unique figures, the Batman is not available anywhere else. Superman as a character is not even available mm -hmm. in the rest of the line, and Croc is a brand new version, ground up version, which is superior to the previous release. I think. There's a lot to love here, so. Uh... Go out there and get it, guys. I mean, it should be popping up in retailers everywhere here pretty soon. At Meyer, which uh, oddly enough is where all of the uh, packs are found first. Yeah. Usually, all like all the Brave and the Bold uh, hero packs, the Battle in a Box. That's what they call it. Um, they're always found at Meyer, so I guess uh, get out there. They also have the three and three quarters vehicle set. You can't go wrong with this set. Highly recommended. So until next time, just uh, keep watching the videos, keep the comments pouring in, keep the subscriptions pouring in, and we promise we'll have more than we have in the last little bit. Yes, we greatly appreciate it. Until right. next time. Thank you. Thank you. Hands of the action. Fe Hello. Eggs. You should put that in the bloopers. <laughs> like definitely getting the call. <laughs> We're gonna get chips. Um. It's Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> he threw me off the cliff. And where is the Batman? Where is the Batman?